one of of the 500 series units that I like is the SSL EQ. So then I came across, you know, the SSL by Waves. And then, of course, you know, I looked into UAD. I have been just like researching, trying to figure out how that would benefit my production. I decided to test the difference between the plugins. Uh, I mean, first off, this be serious. You know, this one, $179, even though they're on sale and you save $40. And then I do have a voucher. Uh, but then, you know, we go to Waves. If we check out, you know, the SSL plugin, it's $29. Regular price, $249. This one, regular price, $299. So like even at regular price, there's a $50 price difference. Going back, I decided to do a test. AB. This by no means is not a tutorial. You know, I just follow the same guidelines uh, for both plugins. And I want to see, you know, like which one sounds better pretty much. And to make my decision, I know it like $100 money wise might not be the decision factor, right? Because I want my music to sound good. Both plugins are programmed the same. You know, like there's like a couple of subtle differences uh, in the layout, but technically like the idea should be the same. So over here, you have uh, your mic pre, right? The one is the same here. Then dynamics, the compressor, you have it over here. Then the filters that so you have down here, you have up here. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, the the actual like EQing is on the opposite side. But it's pretty much just they were flipped, I think. But one thing that uh, the Waves doesn't have that, you know, the UAD does have is this output meet, like um, knob, you know, that's going to help you push uh, the sound a little bit more. And then, you know, also like it, like this is just a little bit different. But other than that, technically, it should be the same idea. So let's check them out. And this is the, the kick without any, any plugins or anything like that. You know, pretty chunky wave. All right, so let's go back. Waves, turn it on. You guys heard the original kick. So for some, so it's cutting a little bit on the low end. Let me see. This is without the EQ. This is with the EQ. Um, I don't know. For some strange reason, it's missing some of the low end that the original had. Right? It's a little bit punchier. That's for sure. Yeah, look at like all of that is gone. Um, and it's set up kind of like pretty straightforward, I think. Uh, let's check out the analog. Yeah, that's a little bit more chunkiness to it. Okay, it's kind of fun, but I, I don't know. I kind of like the low end of the original a little bit more, and I know that you can tweak it, but... Just a little pause here. Hit the bell. Click subscribe so you can get my latest videos in your feed. All right, back to the video. Yeah, it's like the same settings. This one's for sure chunkier. And it, I don't know, it, it, it sounds warmer too. Oh, and then you get to do the black and brown. That's kind of cool. 
yeah, so, so far, I don't know, I, honestly, I, I've never done this test before, so, I have no idea. So, uh, now, let's bounce the, let's bounce this thing, and see, like, the wave one. Let's bounce the wave one. Okay. Look at look at the difference in waveforms. Maybe the compression is different. Let's see, bounce it again. Let's see the USB. Yeah, so I think this one's rounder for sure. It's a little bit warmer. This one's a little bit punchier. So I guess it's going to depend on what you're looking for. I mean, if you have both, or if you have only one, I would love for you guys to tell me which one I should get or why I should get it. Uh Let's pretend that there's no like difference between prices. So they're both priced the same. Which one would you go for? 